New Mexico Democrats, are you fired up? Are you fired up? How about a big round of applause for our central New Mexico county chairs here today? And to everyone in this room, I want to thank all of you for your collective activism and for your action that is making New Mexico a better place for all our families. I am thrilled to see all of you here today because I think we all know that 2010 is going to be a test for us. A test to see if we as Democrats can win in a challenging climate. And we will be challenged. We will be challenged to hold on to our values and to keep all of New Mexico true blue. We're going to have to turn out the vote like we did in 2008. And when I look across this room, packed with all of you, I see the energy and the activism and the talent to show that we can win again in 2010. Yeah. It was because of all of you that in 2008, we saw the greatest turnout of voters our country has ever seen. Millions of new Hispanic voters, millions of new African American voters, young people like we'd never seen. That turnout propelled us to victory in 2008, and we need to turn those people back out to the polls this year. Because frankly, we all know that when Democrats vote, Democrats win. In 2008, people were frustrated with eight years of terrible policy. And you all watched as Washington passed tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires, but turned around and vetoed health care for poor and middle class children in New Mexico. And we were all frustrated when the White House and Congressional Republicans saw the Wall Street banks and their CEOs as too big to fail. But they saw jobs on Main Street in New Mexico, all across our state, as expendable. I think all of us had had it with economic policies that seemed to value greed over hard work. Eight years of these policies left our economies, our nation's economy, in a shambles. Construction ground to a halt across our state and in big cities like Rio Rancho and Albuquerque. People saw their retirement accounts decimated and unemployment reached highs we hadn't seen in years. But in 2008, the voters pushed this country in a new, new direction and they voted for leaders who would value the hard work of the middle class. When we took office, we accepted the responsibility of reversing eight years of President Bush's bad policies. And it's no secret, we all knew this fight wouldn't be easy. But we all stick to the fact that we know that doing what's right isn't always easy. And now is the time for us to stand up for the things we believe in. Now is the time for us to hold strong and to persevere with the democratic values that brought us here in the first place. I'm proud of the work we've done. Make no mistake about it. Had we not passed the recovery package, we would not have halted the greatest economic recession in 80 years. That bill wasn't just some laundry list of infrastructure projects. It was about real people and their jobs. I was on a construction site a few weeks ago in Albuquerque. And I met a man named Julian Gomez, who, like 4,000 other people in Albuquerque, had been laid off from the construction industry because of this recession. And because of the Recovery Act, he is swinging a hammer again today. And we will not rest until every New Mexican who wants to find a job can find a job. 
I was proud to vote for historic health reform that included a public option. And I know if you're like me, you're tired about hearing about a timeline for health reform. I'm with you. And in the next few weeks, we will turn the corner. We will pass historic health care reform. And we will keep on fighting until every New Mexican has access to health care reform, to, to affordable health care. Now, we've all been frustrated by some of the recent setbacks. We've seen Republicans abuse the filibuster like at no time in our history. In the last Congress, they used filibuster votes and cloture more than in the entire 1950s and 60s combined, trying to ground our nation to a halt and prevent progress. And then a few weeks ago, five Supreme Court justices decided that foreign corporations should have more say in New Mexico elections than you and I. We are going to do everything in our power to overturn that decision. We will have a legislative strategy that says that foreign subsidiary or American subsidiaries of foreign corporations can't give to campaigns. We will also have a strategy to amend the Constitution to make it clear that corporations are not people. There is no doubt about it, 2010 is going to be a battle. I've got two little boys at home, a three-year-old and my six-year-old who's getting ready to turn seven in a couple of weeks. Their generation is counting on all of us to keep fighting and to do what is right. As Democrats, we're not going to back down. Our party has always stood for progress. We always believe in equal opportunity, in the idea that all Americans deserve health care and a quality education and economic success. Because we believe those things, in 2010, we're not going to run for the hills. We're going to lead because real people are counting on us. Seven million workers who lost their jobs in the last two years because of Bush administration and Republican policies are counting on us not to back down. 47 million Americans, including too many, right here in New Mexico who don't have health care are counting on us to do the right thing. So folks, let's not forget what brought us here. The organizing, the door-to-door, -door, the hours on the phone, all those things brought us here and we're going to have to do it all over again. We have to stand together, we have to fight for the working families, we have to keep the power out of the big corporations and we need to pass real reform to build a secure future for all of our children. America is counting on us to get this right. I know I can count on you. Are you fired up? Are you fired up? See you in November. Thank you all.